The Centers for Disease Control announced in a report last week a U.S. dairy farmer came down with bird flu. The farmer was infected with the virus from one of his dairy cows. And since then, concern has been growing among Americans on what this could mean and if this could actually turn into a much bigger outbreak. Let's turn now to Dr. Eileen Marty. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Can you tell us a little bit more about this outbreak and should we be concerned about it? Yes, we should be concerned, although right now the risk to humans is very low unless you're exposed to animals that are infected, which means either infected birds or now infected cattle, uh, although it's also been detected in cows and ferrets and mink and sea and, and uh, dolphin. And so it, it really has been able to infect a number of different animals. The reason that we're seeing it in cows right now in the United States has to do with how we feed our animals. Um, we, in the United States, uh, we use um, parts of chickens, including chicken manure, to feed cows. And that uh, puts them at risk when we have an outbreak of H5N1 in our birds for contracting H5N1 in the cows. And it makes, uh, unlike other influenza viruses that can affect cows, H5N1 of this clad, this 2.3.4.4B, has caused disease in the cows. It affects their milk. Um, and in the other mammals that have been affected and the humans, we're seeing that it causes worse types of influenza than we see from regular seasonal influenza with a higher incidence of problems that are, in, that are neurologic, that are brain-related, eye-related. Um, and so we're concerned about this. And speaking to that, should we be cautious then when it comes to drinking milk or eating eggs, especially if the product is unpasteurized? So the bottom line is do not have unpasteurized milk, dairy or dairy products. Only have pasteurized dairy or dairy products and definitely uh, cook your eggs properly and also your meat. You shouldn't be having steak tartare because what we feed the dairy cows that is uh, causing the problem in the dairy cows is also given to cattle. And so we, in most, in many states, the United States, it, it, the one place that they don't do that is California. It's prohibited to feed um, chicken manure to dairy cattle in California. So they don't have the problem. And doctor, you touched briefly on the symptoms. Obviously, we hear flu. We think of all the traditional flu symptoms, but you mentioned potential neurological hallmarks with the influenza of the bird flu. So what are the symptoms people should be looking for and how can it be treated? So they're going to have a very severe respiratory disease with the usual things that you think about for flu. But in addition to that, uh, they're going to have headaches. They may have uh, uh, visual issues. They may have some dizziness. They may also have some diarrhea. Um, there's gastrointestinal symptoms that we're seeing with individuals that get this. And, and I think it's important that people realize that the usual tests, the rapid tests we have for flu do not detect H5N1. So you would come up negative for flu if you get a regular flu flu test. You need a very specific test for H5N1 in order to detect it. But the good news is that the treatments that we have for the regular seasonal flu virus do work against H5N1. Dr. Marty, really important, great information. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Pleasure. Thank you.